This is Twit. Why do you think, Ben, it's time to kill the surface, though? What? What's the issue? I feel like the... Again, in, if you look at it in a, in a vacuum, the move to focus on it being more of a laptop, a, a laptop with tablet features, makes a lot of sense. It's yeah. a much more, I think, coherent product now than it, than it was before. Um, the problem is, is, is in the process of having a new product and a new goal and a new niche, uh, you're by definition forgetting the original goals of the entire program. And, and it happens to be that the new product and the new goals actually defeat the original purposes of the product in the first place. And I think it's a classic example of um, you're kind of a sunk cost. You're thinking about, well, how do we make this better? And you forget why do we even have this in the first place? If you step back and look at why do we even have it in the first place, then you realize Ooh, maybe we're, we're actually already pretty far down the wrong path and we're continuing to go down it and maybe it's best to to step back and reconsider the whole thing. You're so saying was, Surface made sense when Windows 8 first came out? Uh, I, I think it was, there There was definite arguments on both sides when it came out, but there was definitely a case to be made both from a product and a business sort of standpoint. Um, now, like, uh, I don't, I think that case is gone and it's existing because Surface exists. And right. so... If you look at it like, oh, we're making Surface, how do we make it better? Then it's a great product. I think it, it improves in a lot of ways. But if you look at it as why do we have the Surface program at all, um, I, then that's where I have, that's well, where I, I have I think problems key, with it. The key question is, is do we really want a laptop that can convert into a tablet, which in a sense is what it is, right? It's, it's not a particularly viable tablet. If, if you were going out and you wanted the tablet and you wanted to occasionally type, I'm not sure that's what you'd get. And if no. you wanted the laptop that you would use as a laptop, wouldn't you be better off with a MacBook Air or one of the good Acer's or the many excellent small laptops that are in the market? I mean, my Mac Air, sure, it's a little heavier, but not significantly heavier than what, what, what they're offering. And it's, it's, I think, a better laptop. Now, it's not a tablet. But yeah, well, I think, on the I think other that, hand, that, that, so, yeah. so, that's exactly the point, though. It's like... Uh, um, yeah, if you go back to kind of first principles, the very premise of Windows 8, and the way I frame it is Surface is the physical manifestation of Windows 8. Like the very premise is that people want a one device that does both. And right. I think that, that premise, premise is exactly. flawed. Yeah, um, it was right. what was wrong with Windows 8 was it was this right. hodgepodge of touch and desktop. You know, right. personally, well, that, yeah. I, I well, just assume travel with a small laptop and a seven-inch tablet so I've got both, and and I use them in different different situations, different you know, scenarios. I, I, I'm and, and I'm, I'm sure Brian and, and will have something to say about this, but I think the tablet's dead. I think that people are choosing either to bring a mobile device, a, a phone with them, or a laptop, and nobody needs this thing in the middle anymore. And iPad Man, sales okay, have slowed all, dramatically. You're, 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 oh, if only we could Le die. Le so Leo, you're <laughs> you are a hundred percent right in that the worst place to get into is the mushy middle. The mushy middle yep. between two different objects is not a good place to launch a product because the natural order of brands and for things is to diverge constantly, right? So in that regard, try this on for size, right? Now keep in mind I haven't seen this device. I don't know what it looks like or whatever. Let me hype uh, hypothesize about why this might be a good play. Why should you have to see it to talk about it? I think go right ahead. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. You don't need to know anything about it. Just okay. <laughs> welcome to this week in tech. Right. Um, the uh, uh, he, here's what hypothetically might be smart about this is the way Surface 1.0 was launched was here's another tablet that has an attachable keyboard. The way they're launching Surface 3.0 is here's a laptop with a detachable keyboard. Right, right. And that might be really smart, right? Because yeah. it's like, it's like, uh, if a. It's a subtle honest, difference, but, I, it's I a, but it is, uh, I think, closer to what the market's looking for, frankly. Well, and plus also, I, I, I suspect that they are identifying a segment of the market that is underserved. Like nobody who edits photos, nobody who is editing videos is using their iPad to do it, right? It's a. Uh, they're using their laptop if they're going to use any kind of mobile device whatsoever. So if you have what ostensibly is one of those content creation devices instead of a content consumption device, 
And, you know, what, you know, whatever you, you just frame the existence of a keyboard slightly differently. I think that might be a really smart play on Microsoft's part. Yeah. Remember, the first Surface lost Microsoft $900 million. They took an, right. almost a billion dollars right Which, by the way, right is off. less than the Xbox lost Microsoft. Microsoft <laughs> lost X, uh, on, on Xbox. They lost a billion dollars. Yeah. Which turned out to well, be I, an okay I, thing when they had the next two iterations. Right.